Hey guys, Esther Danger Close here, and today I'm bringing you another video on uh, maintenance of your uh, gas blowback pistol. Uh, for today's video, I am again going to be using the uh, WE 1911A1, uh, and uh, although I will be uh, showing you how to maintain the gun. Uh, uh, on this gun in particular, uh, this is generally the same for any gas blowback pistol, uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, make sure you, uh, pay attention and, uh, take some good tips from this video. Right, now, obviously, uh, one of the main things you're going to need to know for maintenance of your, uh, gun is, uh, how to disassemble it. Now, uh, for the 911, it's uh, pretty easy. It's the same, uh, more or less, as a field strip of a uh, real 1911. Uh, so slide here comes back until this uh, small notch here is level with the uh, end of the this uh, slide catch here. Uh, so you just put, and then you just push that through from the other side. Probably you got it in the right place. It just pops straight out. Now uh, put that to the side. Don't need to do anything with this. Uh, just put that down there. Now the slide should come back and off. Now uh, we're not going to be doing anything with the bottom half of the gun yet, so we'll just place that to the side. Now uh, when you uh, look at your um, slide, you're uh, going to see all of this gubbin, gubbins in the inside. Uh, just grab this spring here, uh, this is the uh, guide rod and spring. Uh, you're just going to want to put those down over there. They don't need to be lubricated or anything, because uh, if they do, then, well, you shouldn't lubricate them. Uh, this this uh, little part here, just push through from the other side, that pop out. That can go to the side also, that doesn't need to be lubricated. And neither does this part here on the front, uh, when you just, uh, you just turn that to the side. And it'll pull straight out. Uh, you can take that out first if you want, uh, but I like to take it out uh, last. Uh, just just because I see the order I did it in, really. Uh, now your actual barrel here with your hop up uh, on there, just gonna just gonna drop. Said it's just gonna drop straight out of the gun, which it did. Thank goodness. Uh, right now. Um, you can lubricate the inside of your barrel. Uh, whilst this isn't essential for maintenance, oh god, I've got nasty gun crap on me. Lovely. While this isn't essential for maintenance, it can add a couple of FPS to your gun, uh, just because there's less friction as the uh, BB uh, leaves the barrel. Uh, so if you want, drop a little bit of silicon oil down there. Uh, I'm not gonna because uh, I don't need to. As I was saying, I don't like to put uh, any, I'm not going to put any uh, silicon down there because I don't need any more FPS out of this gun. As there is, a, where I go I often there is a limit on the maximum FPS and, uh, well, it's not that this is going to break it, it's just I don't feel a need to uh, go any higher with this gun because it works fine as it does. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, this part doesn't need to be lubricated, you can put uh, oil down there. Now, if you do want to do this, take the barrel out of the gun first uh, because uh, otherwise you're going to be dropping... Drop in our oil straight into uh, all of your uh, gas chamber down there, uh, and all of your uh, gubbins here, uh, and you don't want to get any oil in there, really. Uh, not, not really. It's not going to do anything. Uh, excess oil might, but uh, just a little bit. It's not going to do anything, but it shouldn't be in there. So just don't put it in there. Now, this is the main part you're going to lubricate of your gun. You obviously will be lubricating the bottom half as well. But we're doing the top half right now. Uh, we'll get to the bottom half later. Now, in here, uh, you'll be able to see uh, this is on a spring. Now, you're just going to want to grab that there, pull it all the way back, uh, and it should expose this part here. Now, it's general rule with anything that moves uh, within reason, uh, not, not like magazines and stuff, just, just drop a little bit of uh, oil in there. Lovely. Just make the action a little bit, that little bit smoother. Uh, so just drop a little bit. It might also ha be easier actually to put a little bit of uh, silicon in the sides here, uh, so it, lubri it lubricates as it goes in and out. That that's always a uh, good place to put it. Obviously, a main part. This is a slide. It goes backwards and forwards all the time. You want to find the rail here and here uh, that it runs on. Uh, this one has one along here. Just drop a little bit, not too much, because if you over lubricate your guns, you're going to be uh, cleaning off oil after every time you shoot. Because as you uh, fire the gun, 
it's just going to spray oil out because there's ex two, there's excess oil in there uh, and it's got nowhere to go. So uh, just a little bit in there and uh, that's all you need. Uh, and that's pretty much pretty much it for the top half of your uh, gun or your slide. So we'll put that to the side and let me show you the bottom half. Um, now, oh, this is only a field strip. If you was doing a full disassembly, you could oil a lot more pieces, i.e. like all of your uh, your safety your uh, mag release, um, all of those in, inner parts, the trigger mechanism in here, uh, and your, uh, your uh, I don't know if you can see that actually, because of the lighting, but you've got a sear spring in there, you could you could lubricate some uh, gubbins in there and all that sort of stuff, but there's no need to because, uh, well, you don't. Now, another a mistake you might make is to think oh look more rails let's lubricate those don't because you've lubricated the rails in the inside they contact with these rails so they're going to pass the, lu the lubricant you put on those onto these there's no need to lubricate those otherwise you're going to have uh, oil dripping out the side of your gun and uh, it also happens to be where this goes as well so when you're going to release your magazine you're going to be getting oil all over your fingers this is going to be smearing it up and down it's going to be really messy and you don't want to get any oil in there so when you look in here there's uh, only a few places you need you can oil uh, obviously find just just do that sort of thing with your gun if it's different to this you just find moving parts inside and uh, drop oil on them essentially uh, try not to go too much into like the magwell here because um uh you're gonna you're gonna be getting oil on your magazines uh you're gonna pull them out your magazines are solid metal yeah oil and fingers solid metal heavy it's just gonna slide out your hand you're gonna break your magazine gas magazines aren't cheap all of that sort of stuff so use use it in moderation now uh, what I like to do sometimes is uh, I think I showed you this in my last video just drop a little bit on my fingertip and just rub it in uh, that way you can get a nice even spread and you don't really put too much in. But uh, into the trigger mechanism, just dump a little bit in in there uh, because that, that's not going to go anywhere near your, near your uh, what's it thing in my jig bob. Uh, uh, just drop a little bit on the top side, on the insides of these, uh, because uh, you might need to just pull the trigger to get that to go back up, so it's easier to get it in. Just a little bit. Uh, never never over lubricate. You can see there's already some lubricant on there from last time. That was literally last time and last time. Oh, Jesus Christ, I can't even remember the last time I lubricated this gun. Uh, also, it's worth noting, noting, if you use green gas, you don't have to lubricate your guns as many, your your gas gun as much as you would if you was using propane, because green gas does have a lubricant in it. Although, obviously, parts like your rail, the uh, rails the slide sits on, they're not going to be lubricated by the green gas, so it's always a good idea just to occasionally just pop top off, just drop a little bit inside. Uh, it is easier to lubricate these rails and rather than the ones in there. In there, oh, you're pointing off the screen, you can't see it. Uh, these rails on the inside here. Uh, it's easier to lubricate these ones, although with these ones, you can get away putting a little bit more on. Uh, as whereas uh, as you as you're lubricating, you're gonna get it started dripping off, and it's all gonna be all mucky. Um, really, there's not much left to tell you. Uh, you can actually, uh, you can you can um see a few more things inside that would be lubricated. Obviously, it's a 1911. Uh, the designs of a gun that's 110 year, 101 years old. Uh, so there's not many moving parts in this. Uh, just the essentials. Although I do, I do think for a hundred and one year old gun, having a, a uh, grip safeties uh, was quite a nifty feature. Uh, two safeties, wow. See, safety first. Anyway, uh, basically, I'm just going to quickly pop this gun back together. Uh, I'll turn the cam back, camera back on, uh, say a few more things, and then uh, that'd be it, really. Right, so the gun's back together. Uh, Functioning nice and smooth as it should be. I just hit the table. Whoops. Uh, nice and smooth as it should be. Uh, so yeah, uh, and it should be maintaining uh, your gun by lubricating it on all that sort of stuff. It's never too hard. It's pretty much the same for any kind of uh, gas blowback pistol. Uh, obviously, uh, the the more high tech your pistol is, the more moving parts, the more it's going to have. You're going to have to uh, lubricate and do stuff to I guess really to keep it maintained but that's just basic maintenance uh, I, su I suggest if you go airsoft in more than four times and f f two uh, 
if you go airsoft in regularly, let's just say that uh, once, at least once a month, uh, just take your gun down. I like to generally uh, lubricate and uh, main, make sure my gun's working after every time that I've uh, taken it airsoft in or had a beat a day on it. Uh, but uh, that's just me, and I like to uh, I like to keep all my guns in a top spec. So if I ever do want to sell them, that I can sell them for top dollar because they're in good condition. Oh, whoops. Uh, I was going to try and show you something actually, but I, did, I, I thought I did over oil it slightly, but I haven't. So, uh, but basically, uh, if you do over oil it, there, uh, right here, where the bottom half ends and your top half sort of continues, uh, that's where you're going to get oil coming out. Um, and on the other side, you're going to get it coming out of these parts and on around the back as well. But uh, basically, if you see oil coming out of there, you've over lubricated it, and uh, next time you know not to put that much in. But uh, anyway, this has been Airsoft Danger Close, and a uh, quick guide tutorial on how to uh, make sh keep your firearms lubricated and uh, in full working order. Uh, so, uh, like, uh, comment, and favorite, or do whatever you want with the video, and uh, I'll see you next time.